Summer Sewing Plans 2018, that's coming up. Hello Fashion Sewers, I'm Colleen Geely and welcome to FSB TV. So I'm going to be telling you what I'm going to be making this summer. So I have got a selection of fabrics, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and also my design sheet, which is this one here. So these are my fabrics that I'm going to be making up this year, and they are from my fabric stash. So I've had these many years. Um, this one I've had the least, I think I've only had this a couple of years. I have uh, made a dress out of that, but I'll talk about that later. Um, so I've got a polyester and then I've got um, a lightweight wool and then I have this sheer fabric which has embroidered flowers on it and then I have two polka dots so I've got the red with white polka dots and then I've got an orange with uh, a grey polka dot and then I have this pinstripe reddy orangey colour um, which is a heavyweight cotton with about 5% um lycra that's in it so it's got some stretch in that one so um and then i'm just going to talk you through that so basically that is from my fabric stash and like i said i've had them for many years so so my first one is going to be this peplum top it has a raglan shaping to a sleeve so it's a cap sleeve with a raglan So my first design is going to be this red with white polka dots and I've done, I'm making two tops actually because there is enough to make two. So the first one is going to be this um, relatively simple top which has a peplum and princess seams and a cap sleeve and a raglan shape to the sleeve. So this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back. So the fastening to the back is going to be a tie and then I've got a little detail that I want to put onto it um, down at the towards the hemline and the peplum comes all the way to the back and it has a, an opening as well as the front. That's just so that you can see the peep of fabric underneath. Um, the next design in the red with the white polka dots is going to be this one here. So it is a, I'm going to be partially draping it on the stand so I can get these lovely folds in there. So it's going to relatively look something like this, I hope. Um, so this is going to be the front view. So there's going to be a collar stand and then it's going to be heavily draped to the front. So I want it to have volume at the front and then at the back, I just want it to have two straight, simple straps and then it has um, this back detailing with a bow to fasten it um it may be a button but i just i, I just love the shape of that and i, I do want to see if, if that actually works i'm not sure if it's going to I, I think it should do really because um i've done this similar sort of style in the past and must admit it's been a while um but i do like asymmetrical designs um so i know there has to be in here somewhere um for me so yeah, so these two are going to be made from this. The next one is going to be um, this maxi dress and I'm going to be making out this orange with grey polka dots. Um, I do want it to be quite long because I want to wear it with jeans. I want to wear it with skinny jeans and three quarter length jeans and boyfriend jeans, stroke, husband jeans, um, yeah, so it's definitely going to be a dress that's going to be worn with jeans, and that reminds me, I think I do need to buy some jeans as well, I don't make my jeans, um, never really had any interest in making in my jeans, um, and I know it's quite popular at the moment to do so, um, but yeah, I want to wear these with blue denim jeans, so it's going to be, like I say, a maxi length. Um, it's going to be straight with slits at the side. One may be higher than the other because, because it's me. <laughs> um, and it's probably a way of getting this asymmetrical design in there, even though it's so, so subtle. Um, but more than likely, one will be higher than the other. 
I'm going to have this fluting effect um, just under the bust. Um, I think I'm just influenced by what's happening now. Um, there's lots of frills and um, peplums that are uh, that have been around for a couple of summers now. Um, so yeah, that will be definitely no. I, I won't say definitely, but I will definitely play with the idea of having that under the, the bust, keeping it quite small, um, and then it will come through to the back here. So I'll have a seam line there and then it's, um, you know, gathers onto the bust and then I've got cap sleeves again and it's just a V shaping. So it's quite a straightforward design really. So yeah, looking forward to that one. The next one is going to be, so we've got one, two, three. So the fourth design is going to be a three piece suit, if you like. So it's in this um, red, an orangey red pinstripe. The pinstripe is white and it's got a stitch kind of a, um, pattern to it. So I'm going to make in, um, a jacket. Um, and then I'm going to make a waistcoat. Um, we call them waistcoats in England. And I think you call, they can also be known as vests, if I'm, if I'm, mis if I'm mistaken. Yeah, I think they're known as vests. And then I'm going to make some pants. So these are going to be um, these are going to be full length pants flared at the bottom. So quite fitted up here, and then it flares out at the bottom. And there's no there's no waistband to that. Um, that um, should the pants will be quite easy to make and show. So should that. And it's going to spin an alternate back as well. Um, and the jacket is going to have darts to the back. So I haven't really drew any um, back views to those, but it's quite straightforward, there's, no, there's nothing there. Um, am I going to, I might do pretend pockets. <gasps> I know, I said it. <laughs> I know, it's, it's it's all about timing. If if, if I can make the pockets in, in the time scale that, I, that I've given myself, then yeah, I will definitely do that. If not, then yeah, we'll just, between you and I, um, yeah, we'll just pretend they're real pockets. The next one is going to be this blouse. Now, I did have quite a lot of this fabric, and I have made a dress out of this fabric. The dress was pretty successful. Um, it's a loose-fitting dress, and I wanted it to be loose-fitting. Uh, for two reasons, because it's going to be worn in the summer and because it's polyester and I wanted to make sure that my body can breathe. So with those two elements in mind, I did enjoy the design of the dress. It didn't quite work out. There's, there was just something missing and I think I know what it is now. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll just put um, a quick image of what the dress looks like. And then um, I will show you once I've altered the dress because I do I do want to wear it and I'm going to alter it. So at the same time, when I've done making this blouse, I'll also show you um, the how I've improved upon the design of the dress. So yeah, I'll show you that towards the end of the video actually, um, the dress. So yeah, so let's get back to the. Blouse, so it's going to be a, um, a wrap over, um, straight sleeves ish, and then I've got this um, puff ball effect that's going on towards the lower part of the arm, and then it's going to have a big bow to tie it to one side. So there you go, an asymmetrical kind of design, and um, with the big bow at one side. So looking forward to that. I do love this far. Can you see this gorgeous deep red and black that's in you? It's gorgeous, um, the, the, the depth of colour between the black, because the black almost looks like a jet black, yeah, jet black, and um, a very deep, deep red colour. And the pink flowers, it's a shame it's got, it's a shame it's got pink flowers, and I must admit that I was only drawn to the fabric for those two elements, the black and the deep, deep red. Um, but I'm going to see how to bring out the black and also the red and make sure the pink stands in the background and that's one of the things when you come to design um, and you do like the fabric and you know you want certain elements within the fabric to stand out 
and others to sit in the back. So let's see how that goes. But I'm looking forward to making that. Now the next one is going to be a little bit of a challenge. It is, it's, it's a gorgeous, but it's got a sheen on this wall and it's, and you have to be very delicate with it because it frays, oh, it frays so much. Um, and it's, but it's gorgeous and it's gorgeous to, to the touch as well. Yeah, lovely fabric. But I've had it for such a long time that I know um, if I don't make anything out of it now, <laughs> that's probably many years before I do make something out of it. So, um, and because I've got this, let me show you, this lemon polyester. You see that beautiful embroidery on the fabric here with this little three-dimensional little rose that's on there. And I want to marry those two together. So, um, yeah, hopefully it will work my idea that I have in my head. So I'm really looking forward to making that one out of all the designs. So um, let's see what happens with that. It's, it, so yeah, just looking forward to it. Let's, let's put it that way, let's hope it works. So I have this, um, I have this uh, coat dress, let's call it. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I use this fabric in the sleeve and in the body section here. And I, I think, no, I think I will cover the sleeve with the fabric, with the chiffon, with this fabric. Um, but I don't think I will do it to this section here. I definitely want pockets in here, which will be this fabric. And the bottom half will be this fabric. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that works. So I'm gonna I'm going to really enjoy doing that because I do like to push myself. So um, it will it will be a case of spending quite make sure that I have enough time to spend on this that it does do it justice. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. Let's put it that way. So here is my dress. We've got a v-neck line and we've got a bike, got bias binding around the arm holes. I've got these straps. It's got a gorgeous hemline to it. Let me see that there. So yeah, it's going to look different. Hopefully says she. <laughs> so yeah. So that is my sewing plans for 2018. So if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. When you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell, which gives, which enables you to have notifications of when I upload my videos. Do share this video, give it a thumbs up, and please leave your comments in the comment section, and I will see you next time.